I think it's safe to say I have earned the title of a brand What? I have. I mean, look at me. Patagonia, North Face, it happens all the time. Whether it was skateboarding, mixed martial arts, the outdoors, music, whatever my passion is, I love the brands behind communities. Today, my love of the outdoors has grown so much that we are going to discuss the top five brands in the outdoor apparel space specifically. We'll have some honorable mentions for some brands that do specific type of apparel or gear. We'll have a couple outside the top five that'll get some mentions. Maybe not good ones, maybe, we'll see. But we are going to discuss who are the top five outdoor apparel brands right now in 2022 and what gives them those titles. Let's get right into it. Starting at number five, this is my list, right? I want to start by saying this is my list. These are my opinions. I will give my opinions on why I'm saying that and I'll give some thought behind it, but these are just my opinions. If you disagree, leave it in the comments and let me know. So number five, Carhartt. Carhartt has been known my whole life as a huge outdoor brand. What do most people think of when they think of a Carhartt? They think of a Carhartt jacket, that tough denim jacket that cannot be penetrated by the wind, snow, cold, anything. You put on a Carhartt jacket and you are good to go, baby. Everybody knows that. They're a little pricey on the Carhartt jackets, but if we're just talking apparel, Carhartt gets a five. It's a big style move to have a Carhartt hat and then, you know, a Bass Pro shirt or whatever. That's a style move that people pull. But Carhartt as a brand, they don't make fantastic hats. They don't have any kind of, you know, amazing quality in their technology or anything like that. It's just a, it's a durable hat that's great for the outdoors. So their quality, but their apparel, their t-shirts, their hoodie, I always find them to be quite heavy way too heavy oftentimes where you're like, man, what is this thing made of? A damn potato sack or something? Like, It's so heavy. It's almost like you're wearing that big, huge jacket. And that is my downside to the Carhartt jacket. I've owned a few in my life. You can't complain when you're staying so warm. But my one complaint is when you're wearing a Carhartt jacket, you just feel very boxy. You feel like the kid in the Christmas story. You know, it's kind of, you feel like you're in a big balloon or something like that. So for that reason, I've just never found their apparel to be very comfortable. Therefore, I would not want to wear it outdoors um, outside of obviously a jacket, but I have better jackets that we will talk about later on down the list. Number four, in my opinion, Magellan Outdoors has kind of slyly crept past some of these bigger name brands, even Nike's, Adidas, Under Armour, these are all brands that are being beaten out as they try to enter the outdoor space. Why? Well, if I'm correct, Magellan Outdoors is a brand of academy sports and outdoors. So they already know what they're doing, right? They have research and development teams that are constantly keeping track on the bigger brands that we'll talk about later to see what technology are they using, what styles are the most popular, what sells the best in our store. And then they give people a lower cost option for those higher price tag options right now i have a few magellan outdoors um, pieces and my wife does as well their graphics just pure looks I, i'm looking at one right now my snow white and black kind of camo base layer um, it's technically a fishing shirt i wear it when i go hiking but it's it's the kind of athletic what most people would think of as dry fit or we used to just call it Under Armour type stuff where it's real, you know, form fitting, but it's it's meant to wick away moisture. I think they do that game fantastic. 1999, you grab 10 different colors, whatever colors you want. Their graphic tees are fantastic. Let me say this about Magellan Outdoors. They're soft, long sleeve t-shirts. They're like 1999. I think sometimes you can get, even get them for like 1499. If you're wanting comfort to represent your love for the outdoors and you need to buy a few of them, I would advise you to go to Academy Sports and get the Magellan Outdoors long sleeves for the falls. Grab five, six of them and you're set for the entire fall and into the winter. I love them. Magellan Outdoors. I have not seen hoodies like this, like what I'm currently wearing. 
Um, I haven't seen that from them yet, but maybe it'll come as the winter gets closer. So that's number four, Magellan Outdoors. Number three, Columbia. Columbia, quality-wise, fantastic. Um, They're one step up from a base layer, so they're fleece. Um, That's really where they are known. A Columbia fleece is really nice on a fall night, sitting around, you know, a campfire, roasting some marshmallows, making hot dogs. You put on a Columbia fleece, a nice, nice hat, and you just kick back. I have one in there. It's a red one. Um, It's great. It's a little more professional looking too. If you don't want to wear a hoodie, if you're going out somewhere nice to eat on a nice cool night, throw on a Columbia fleece. Outside of that, Columbia uh, PFG is like their fishing, which is where a lot of their graphic tees come from, a lot of that stuff. Columbia is a very like button down shirt type of thing. It's more of a business casual type look. That's why I don't wear it as much, but that's not really my style. I appreciate them for their quality. Um, That's more of a fishing brand. I don't really fish. So again, I think their standard base layer stuff is fine. It's like 35, 40 bucks for just you know, a standard base layer, um, fishing long sleeve shirt. So again, they're great. They're a staple in, in the outdoors community and their gear is great. You're, you're never going to have a problem, uh, problem with the quality of gear on that one. So let's get right in to the top two. And I'm sure you guys can already guess, um, the top two, and then we'll get into our honorable mentions specific to certain sports, right? So number two, who's going to win out of North Face or Patagonia, in the number two slot comes the North Face. I do love the North Face. I'm a big fan. Um, I love that they have sponsored so many great rock climbers and athletes, such as Alex Honnold and Jimmy Chin and so many others. Um, I support them mainly for that reason, and that helps me to overlook what they do on the not outdoors side of their brand when they do collabs with like Gucci and Supreme and all that type of silly shit and they make the big elaborate like logo all over the hoodie stuff that stuff I don't like but remember brands are international so they're not just making stuff for Cam Williamson or whoever's watching this video they make styles for all types of people they want to be right there with the Nikes and the Adidas and in my opinion I still think that they beat them so the North Face has always had a very unique distinct logo even and you know Patagonia has as well from a far way away you can see that and go oh that's the North Face and when you look at it you know that that's a quality piece of apparel that you know is that you're looking at. The hoodies aren't your standard 1999, 39.99 hoodie, right? They're light but comfortable and insanely warm. Let's just be honest. When you are wearing me, a logo that is just clean, it's just a clean logo, right? It's it's a bright red shirt or hoodie. Now I have other ones that are not bright red, but black or whatever. But when it's a base color, clean logo, and then on the back, it's got the logo really big. It's just a clean look. So you can kind of pair that nicely with really anything. They do a great job with their graphics. So on the back of the shirt, sometimes you'll get like a parks a national park specific type design. You'll get just an outdoorsy type design. But where Columbia falls short is some of their stuff is so flashy. And Magellan is that way too. Some of the colors are so bright and it's like, it looks like a kid made it with, uh, you know, glow in the dark highlight pens or something. And it's just so much to look at. North Face is pretty good about that. They don't do that. Um, they When they're not putting the logo a million times on stuff, usually it's a very clean look obviously they support the outdoors that's huge for me um they're you know they are aware of the impact that their business has on the environment and they're actively working with people and athletes and to do things um you know to help be more sustainable so again if you're going to support someone a bigger company a nikes and adidas you know something like that take a look at the North Face because the North Face could be a good option that at least is starting to steer things in the right direction. Let's go 
to the winner, the crown champ. Uh, I'm sure many people knew this was coming, especially because I just did a video on um, Yvonne Chouinard giving away Patagonia. But in the number one slot, the reigning champion, Patagonia, baby. Um, Patagonia, a lot like the Carhartt hat, has that culture, this one specifically, where I, you'll see a lot of people who just wear a Patagonia hat. And then they'll have like a Nike shirt on. And then they'll have like, slacks on or something and it it kind of shows that the enthusiasm for the outdoors is there but then it gets very confusing with all the other fluctuated brands and that's where patagonia can kind of get a rough rap as being like a poser or a yuppie or a uppity kind of thing where you know people look at some folks with patagonia hats and go oh he probably doesn't even know what that is or whatever and and they may not but that kind of stuff is not really important um, if you're using your fashion as a status, you know, checkpoint for yourself, reevaluate completely. You should be happy and comfortable in everything that you wear. That's why I don't believe in spending a lot of money on cheap clothes. You know, going to a Walmart and we'll get back into Patagonia, but going to a Walmart and buying a $10 shirt that's going to get ruined the second time you wash it because it's going to shrink and the sleeves are going to roll weird and all this targets the same way. Yeah, you can say that you're saving money, but when you have to do that multiple times in a month, you might as well have just bought the one shirt from Patagonia for 45 bucks and pay attention to how they say to wash it, wash it in cool water, chill on the fabric softener. Don't do that because it ruins what preserves the shirt. They have lifetime guarantees on every product they make and they're specific to the outdoors. They don't do this wide broad reach into the secular community where it's like hey we make clothes for everybody their new tagline is we're in the business to save our planet so they're not playing games they're not they're not doing collabs with gucci they're not you know oh let me say this bold proclamations by companies this is a big reason why under armor gets a big no thank you from me everything in their outdoors sect seems to gear towards tactical and military everything says freedom on it the dumbest shirt i've ever seen which is i served with the under armor logo i hate those shirts more than anything in the world how much do you need a pat on the back then you're literally walking around with a shirt that says i served you might as well just say have a shirt on that says come up and say thank you to me that's a bad idea for a shirt that whoever was in R and D and was like, people will like this. You're playing to the <laughs> people's ego. You know that people's ego will be like, I want to wear that. I want people to know I served. And that when I saw that, I swore that I would never wear anything Under Armour civilian because I did wear a lot of Under Armour stuff when I was in the military. I did wear a lot of the tan base layer, short sleeve, dry fit shirts. I, my boots, my, my tack, you know, my everyday wear boots in the military were Under Armour for a while and they were insanely comfortable and great, but never in my fucking life will you catch me walking around in an OD green Under Armour shirt that says I served on the back with the tactical Under Armour logo. It's the dumbest shit in the world. Patagonia is not doing stuff like that. They're not trying to be something they're not. They're not trying to, you know, uh, team up with The Rock and make the new UFC shoe that apparently everybody hates. It's like they stay in their lane. They have morals. They have ethics. They make quality products with a guarantee behind them. And they go so far as any of these other brands we're discussing in this video, if you buy those products and something happens and they get, it gets damaged, Patagonia will repair it. You could send it to them and they'll fix it, you know, and send it to people in need. So that's pretty great. Let's get into our honorable mention, shall we? If you're going to talk about brands, especially outdoors, I think you would be remiss if you did not mention Black Diamond. If you are not a rock climber, Black Diamond probably doesn't have a lot of connotation to you. Um, but Black Diamond is at the top of the game. Harnesses, um, you know, ropes, belay devices, assisted belay devices, gear to get up the you know mountains and everything in between. It's a little pricey, but they're top of the game when it comes to sports specific uh, rock climbing. So La Sportiva is that same way. That is my chosen rock climbing shoe. I love them. I have the Tarantulas 
And um, I'm not such an intense climber that I need anything like the TC Pros or anything like that yet. But La Sportiva is my personal chosen rock climbing um, shoe. Petzl is the Grigri, really is the only one, which is your belay device. They don't really make apparel. They do. They have shirts and hats and stuff like that, but that's more just promo stuff that you can get, I think, when you buy a Grigri or you go to a convention that they're holding. Outdoor research, Mountain Hardware, uh, Solomon, all great stuff, all great brands that we have. Uh, Falal Raven, I always say that wrong. Falal Raven is another one. They are famous for a backpack. It's kind of what most people know them for, the little... The little Fox logo. Most people don't know how to pronounce their name. They're not that huge here in the States. So, you know, it's kind of tough in that regard. Solomon, they make great shoes. Mountain hardware and outdoor research is hunting, hike, or, I'm sorry, camping, hiking, that kind of stuff. And uh, yeah, all great brands. Let me know if I missed one that is native to your parts or you know because some things are huge in Canada and they're not real big here in the states or they're bigger in the UK and we don't really know about it here so if I missed a brand that you think I should know about or you think should make the list for top five outdoor brands in 2022 let us know in the comments if you like this video please give it a thumbs up subscribe to see more of what we got going on all things outdoors and hit the bell you'll be notified as soon as we put it all up love you so much and we'll see you in the next one